welcome to Shannon Brinkley Studio. I am so excited that you are here and to give you a tour around the space. Before we begin, just wanted to share that we do have an addition to the studio coming in September. Little fellow is on the way and we're really excited. <laughs> okay, let me show you around our studio. So this is the main studio space where I do all of my sewing, where I do all of my teaching. So we have storage for fabric, these gorgeous bay windows that let in so much light, which is fantastic. Um, of course, having a studio space filled with light, but then we also do a whole lot of, I do a lot of teaching, a lot of online workshops, Zoom workshops and everything. And so just having the whole space filled with light is pretty fantastic. Um, storage for fabric and tools above. Have then uh, more storage for fabric. This is my grandmother's. A china cabinet that now houses a bunch of beautiful fabric. And then over here too is where my sewing machine's all set up. Um, I got this table a while back from a friend. It was her mother's and it was, it was that like kind of old 70s stain and so that, you know, wasn't the best. And so I um, painted it white and then did these lovely little ombre effect on the drawers. So sewing space, um, threads and everything like that as well. Uh, and then through here, we have uh, the long arm is a recent addition to the studio. We got it earlier this year. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, just a little uh, desk space and then design wall. So the, the rooms here have just huge, especially on this first floor, huge tall ceilings. And so that allowed for this eight foot by eight foot um, design wall, which is pretty fantastic. And the, the um, space here is all, it's divided. It, it's really two rooms. We have these pretty pocket doors that are original, but we just leave them open. And so it's just this one big wide open space that is really lovely and inspiring in which to work in. Um, and uh, so this is the dry studio where I do sewing, designing, teaching. And then I also have my wet studio where I do fabric painting, dyeing, printing. So let me show you that. So this building came with all of these fantastic built-in storage um, cabinets that I thought originally I would not be able to totally use because there was just so much storage. However, I, of course, quickly <laughs> was able to find things to put in them. So plenty of, you know, plenty of things to fill the beautiful storage. But I do a lot of fabric dyeing, painting, printing. And so um, lots of room for my dyes, for pigments, for extracts, um, and all sorts of things. And then this room is the print studio. So I um, have my table here, a um, little printing board here. And so I'm able to print on fabrics. And um, here I have storage for making lake pigments. So you can actually take leftover dye when you're working with natural dyes like I do. You can take the, dye, the leftover dye and then there's a process where you're able to actually separate the pigment from the water. And so here it's drying out and soon will look like this. And so this is all dried pigment that I just need to grind up. And then I'm able to use that pigment for fabric painting or printing. All right, and then in here is where my, I do my dyeing. So, Lo another lovely pegboard wall with uh, all of the different tools that I need for fabric dyeing. Um, I have two burners set up here and then lots of space underneath for fabric storage. And then big, beautiful old sink that's fantastic for, you know, with all of the big pots and stuff that I'm dyeing with. And lots of space too. Since I do lots of natural dyeing with plants, roots, leaves, flowers, um, here I have my space to seed the dye plants, so indigo, madder, weld, marigolds, etc. 
and then another rack to here for um, for plants. And so a lot of them are outside now that it's nice and warm, but we have grow lights and things for the winter. And then we have a beautiful outdoor space that is where I have my dye garden. We'll give you a tour once it's in fuller bloom closer into the summer. But, and, and it allows me to do fabric dyeing out there and it's just nice to have an outdoor space as well. So the, watch out Maggie. This is our dad, our studio pup, Maggie, <laughs> who follows me around everywhere. All right, so the studio itself, my this is my floor, floor number one, and then we also have two additional floors, so let me show you that. So the building was built in 1850, and we found out that it was actually built, it, it was built split in half from the beginning, and it was originally a parsonage. So one half was the Methodist parsonage, and the other half was the Baptist parsonage. So we just imagine the conversations that were had <laughs> on the back porch on summer evenings between the two pastors. <laughs> All right, and then this floor number two is my husband's space. So Matt joined me back in 2019. He was able to leave his corporate job and join me in the business. So we since then have been co-running the business together. And so this is, he has a little kitchen, office space. And then we have this room, an additional little room set up as a living room with uh, a little table. And that's where we do lunches usually in the bay windows in the middle of the day. And then we have one more floor to show you. So then this third floor we have set up as a guest suite. So for whenever family members come into town, employees, or guest teachers for Meander. And recently, we've also set it up as, opened it up as an Airbnb. So it's fun decorating it with lots of different textiles, quilts, pillows, cozy little living room here, and sweet little kitchen. The couch opens up into a queen size bed, but then we also have bedroom in here. It's another lovely, cozy space. Lots of pretty textiles everywhere. And another sweet little light filled bathroom. Big king size bed. So if you're ever in Leesburg, Virginia, it's this darling little colonial town about an hour outside of DC, then look us up. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for our studio tour. We've been here for about a year and just love, love, love the space. And we may do some additional videos with um, different detailed areas of the studio to show you some more stuff as well. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.